All right, hello everyone. I am Precious Ugweze, and in this video, um, we are going to look at the evaluation of uh, polynomials. And we recall that we have discussed polynomials, addition of polynomials, and all of that. And we said that a polynomial, you know, can be represented with the, you know, p of x. That is to say. <clears throat> That the polynomial is uh, is written in variable x so but if it's in variable t it is p of t but that doesn't mean that you can't write it in any other alphabet you can have f of x h of x and other things all right now so to evaluate a polynomial all we are saying is that you are asked to find the value of that polynomial when the variable is given so for instance we can ask you to evaluate p of x at x equal to say a so if we do that what it means is that it is denoted as p of a and it implies that you should substitute x you know with a wherever we see x we should remove it and put a right and that's just what polynomial evaluation is all about so we have example here we are given that p of x is equal to this and we are to find p of a, uh, p of one so the first one here says we should find p of one and so to find p of one all we need to do is to remove x and put one in this polynomial and that will give us one cube plus four into one one to one plus one and that's going to give us one plus one squared is one times four is four minus three plus one and that is equal to three okay and then uh, and that's your solution so for the second example we have b b says we should find the p of negative two and that's going to be negative 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1. And so what is that going to give us? We are going to have negative 2 raised to the power 3 is minus 8. And then minus 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 times 4 is 16. And this will give us 6 plus 1. And if you sum everything here, you are going to produce minus 8 plus 6 is 14 you will have 15 as your solution here and then finally on this part we are going to have example c sorry c says that we should evaluate p of half okay at this time our x is half <clears throat> and so that's a half raised to power 3 plus 4 into half raised to power 2 minus 3 into half plus 1 and that's going to give us 1 over 8 plus 4 into 1 over 4 minus 3 over 2 and that is plus 1 and which is going to give us um, if we simplify this we will have 1 over 8 plus here 4 will take away this and we'll have 1 over 1 minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over 1 i made this this way because i want to take lcm so the lcm here is 8 which will give me 1 8 this is 4 times 3 12 plus 8 and by the time you add up all of this you have 17 minus 12 which is 5 all over 8 and that is the solution to the example c and then there is a, a second example we have here a very beautiful one in this case we are given a polynomial and some of the constants are missing and here they are saying if you evaluate this polynomial at one x equal to one you will get six and if you evaluate it at x equal to minus one you will get two so they are asking us to find the values of b and a that will behave this way and so what are we going to do? So all we need to do is to, first of all, substitute this one and see what we have. So solution will begin. So my if my P of one is equal to, by substitution, if I put it here, I'm going to have A into one raised to the power two plus B into one 
plus 1 is now equal to what I am giving here, which is 6. Okay, so what it now means is that my A plus B, uh, if I take this to the other side, I will have 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. I can call this equation 1. And so you see that this is leading us into a quadratic equation, sorry, a simultaneous equation. And then for the second one, P of minus 1 uh, is equal to A into minus 1 all squared plus B into minus 1, then plus 1. It is actually equal to, which they gave us is 2. So what this means is that one minus 1 squared is 1 times A is A. Uh, B times minus 1 is minus B. And then you have 1 here. Take it over to this side. That will give you 2 minus 1, which is 1. So we can call this equation 2. And so for us to be able to get our A and B, all we need to do is solve the two equations simultaneously. So solving, so we are going to have um, A plus B equal to 5, which is equation 1. Then A minus B equal to 1 as equation 2. Okay, so I will choose what to eliminate. Um, here I want to eliminate B. And to eliminate B, I will need to add. So and if I do that... If I take this sum, I am going to have 2a. This plus minus this will go away. So I will have equal to 6. And so if I divide both sides by 2, I will have my a to be equal to 3. And then I can choose to also eliminate b, sorry, a to find b or substitute. I'll plug in a as 3 into any of these equations which is the approach I want to use. And so if I plug in A into equation 1, equation 1 says that A plus B is equal to 5, but I've gotten A as 3 is equal to 5. So this means that my B is simply 5 minus 3, and that's equal to 2. Therefore, my A is equal to 3, and my B is equal to 2. And that's the required solution for this problem so there's an exercise for you a very beautiful one just like the one we just finished doing All right and this is where we'll end it see you in our next class please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like comment and share our videos bye